welcome you again in the classes of evs academy and we were discussing the chapter environmental biology or you can say ecology until last class we have already discussed the biological interactions and in the biological interactions we have only completed the positive interactions right now today we have to go to the negative interactions in positive interactions we have seen three type of interaction one is mutualism in which both the types of species or organisms get benefited by this particular relationship and this relationship is obligatory or necessary for the survival of both type of species for example rhizobium rhizobium cannot survive alone without the leguminous plants and for the leguminous plants also if they want to get nitrogen from the soil then they necessarily require the rhizobium in their root nodules that is a kind of relationship that you can find out in the mutualism then in commensalism commensalism we have seen that one is benefited another is not benefited nor harmed for example the creepers creepers go high in the sky or high in the height to get sunlight with the help of trees tree branches and tree is also not having any impact due to this particular type of relation with the creepers there is a kind of commensalism relationship and proto cooperation in proto cooperation there is also kind of relationship when one kind of organism is benefited and another is also benefited but the relationship is not obligatory or necessary here the both type of species or organism can survive alone as well it is not necessary for them to be together so that is a kind of relation that you can find out in the proto cooperation type of interaction positive interaction you can say so this is all about the positive interactions we have seen the example of proto cooperation remember that is that is hermit crab and the sea anemone both live together but it is not necessary for the both to live together but the hermit crab get protection from the sea anemone with the help of sea anemone and the sea anemone because it cannot move from one place to another place so they can move from one place to another place because of the nutrient requirement with the help of hermit crab because hermit crab move from one place to another place so that is kind of relation that you can find out in the proto cooperation next type of the population interactions that we have to study is the negative type of interactions negative type of biological interactions what are the negative type of biological interactions so in this particular type of interaction at least one species out of the two species got harmed by other species and other can be also harmed or other can be neutral as well both type of scenario is possible here or maybe minus for one species and benefit for the other species that is also possible so that all type of interaction which you can find out in the environment or in the ecology those all are the negative type of interactions in the negative type of interactions the very first interaction that we have to discuss here is the amensalism amensalism is totally opposite of the commensalism in commensalism we have seen the one type of organism is get benefited and the other one is nor harmed or not get any kind of benefit zero kind of relation you can find out in the amensalism here the one species harmed or inhibited other is neither benefited or nor harmed so here one species is harmed in this particular type of amensalism type of relationship so here one species is getting harmed for the another species from the other species and the other species is not having any benefit as well as not having any kind of harmful effect due to this particular type of relationship example here that you can see in the amensalism is the chlorella chlorella vulgaris produces a kind of toxin that toxin is known as chlorellin which is a kind of antibiotic which is harmful for the other algae present near to the chlorella vulgaris so larger and more powerful organisms excludes another organism from its source of shelter or food is also a type of amensalism here removing one organism from that particular place is not getting any kind of positive impact on the other one but still they do that so that is due to this kind of amensalism of relationship where one is getting harmed get harmed by the other and other is not benefited or not harmed 
Another example here is the algal blooms such as red tide or green blooms are also example of pyramensalism. What are the algal blooms? Sometimes you have seen are uh, there are certain particular type of lakes or streams or you can say pond which are totally totally filled by the algae. You can see them in a green color, totally green color. That is because due to the impact of the algae present there, huge amount of algae present there. That kind of scenario or that kind of particular thing is known as the algal bloom, bloom of the algae. So that is algal bloom. And that kind of situation is harmful for the other organisms which are living below to the surface water. For example, the other kind of plant species because they are not going to get any kind of sunlight and in the absence of sunlight they cannot do the photosynthesis so that algal bloom is creating a negative impact on the plants which are present below the water surface but the algal bloom is having no impact at all due to this kind of relationship so that is again a kind of amensalism relationship so these all are the examples of the different amensalism type of relation of the different species. The next negative type of relationship that we have to study is the parasitism. So parasitism, parasitism means the impact of the parasite on one type of organism or one type of species. A parasite is the organism living on or in the body of other organism and deriving food from its tissue. The harmed one is called the host, the benefited one is called the parasite. So here you can see the relationship is kind of, one is getting harmed, impact by the other one, and the other one is got benefited by the other species. So a parasite usually takes a host, which is usually larger than its body size. So all the bacteria, viruses present in the living organisms, those all are a kind of parasite which is taking nutrien nutrition or nutrients uh, from the body of the host itself for their particular survival. But here the other one is getting harmed due to the impact of these parasites on their body. Example, microorganisms such as bacteria, virus, fungi, mycoplasma, protozoans, etc. All These all are kind of the parasites which causes many diseases in the human beings and the other animals as well. And then there are also hyperparasites, parasitic microbes growing in or on the other parasites. So inside the parasite body, if there is another parasite present, that would be called as the hyperparasite. The four examples of different type of parasites are written here, which are very important. You have to remember these all. There can be some question formed from this particular section in the examination. So very first example here is the total stem parasite. It means which is feeding on the host stem. So that parasite which is present on the stem of the host that would be called as the total stem parasite. Total stem parasite example is cascuta. Cascuta is kind of parasite. And total root parasite, total root parasite which is feeding completely on the root of the plant. Example here are the Rafflesia, Aurabenki and Conopholis. These three plants or the parasite basically you can say feed on the roots of the other plants. Then we have the partial stem parasite which is partially depending on the stem. So these are the Loranthus and Viscum. Viscum is also called as Loran. Uh, Viscum family is actually Loranthaceae. So that's why the Loranthaceae in the bracket you can see. So all the Loranthaceae family are generally partial stem parasite kind of organisms. Then partial root parasite, which is partially feeding on the root of the plants. For so example, here is the Centenal, Centellum album and the Thesium. These two are the kind of partial root parasite. So these all are the examples of different kind of parasite you can find out on the plant species, different plant species. So the name of these are important here. Next type of parasitic, uh, the negative interaction, not parasitic, negative interaction you can find out is the predation. Predation you all know. There is one organism who is eating the other organism and other organism is being eaten by the first organisms. Here the relationship is directly positive and positive for the predator, negative for the prey. So prey is the organism which is being eaten and predator is the organism which is eating the other organism. So here 
the other organism which is being eaten is completely died and completely harmful effect so this is positive and negative type of example lion tiger bear these all are the predators of the forest ecosystem in the ocean ecosystem sharks sharks are the predators of the ocean ecosystem so here the relationship is positive and negative type that is very common type of relationship that you can find out in the environment then we have another type of negative relationship that is the cannibalism 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 is actually a activity or a kind of term which is used for the denotion of a negative type of interaction and here in the cannibalism the bigger individual of the same species kill the smaller ones of the same species or their own species or maybe he is eating maybe he is just killing or whatever the scenario one organism is getting benefited another one is harmed but the thing here is that the both organism belonging to the same species cannibalism generally find out you can find out in the organisms like crocodile snakes lions are also also have been uh, seen that doing cannibalism they eat their own child so in cannibalism bigger individual of species kill and fits on the smaller individual of the same species cannibalism is a natural method of the population control in the environment or in the ecosystem so I remember the term cannibalism cannibalism is the term which is used when the same species organism is eating the same species another organism and this is a kind of negative type of interaction when one organism get benefited and other is harmed here next very common type of negative interaction i think you all know that is the competition in competition both type of organism got get harmed by each other so competition is very natural in the ecosystem and this is the association of two or more species each species is adversely affected by the presence of the other species in respect to the food shelter space light etc competition occurs when individuals attempt to obtain a resource that is inadequate to support all the in individuals seeking it or even if the resources are adequate individuals harm one another trying to obtain it for example in the forest ecosystem generally the larger trees create shadow region or shades on the smaller plants and smaller plants it is very difficult to them to grow in the shady region of the bigger plants so that is a kind of competition if suppose if you took, took the example of the agricultural field in the agricultural field there is a crop and there is also other crops uh, which is different from the crop that you have sown and those all crops would be categorized as weeds so these weeds do competition with the main crop so the more growth the weed will take or maybe the crop will take so easily they can shade out the other one if crop is growing fast then it can shade the weed if weed is growing fast it can shade the crop so both are doing competition there for the space food and shelter you can say for the nutrition as well so this can be of two types this competition is if it is inside the species same species one species plant is competing with the same species other plant so that can be termed as intra specific intra means same within so inside the species if there is a competition that can be termed as intra specific competition this is also known as the scramble competition then we have another type of competition that is inter specific inter specific means outside outside you can say or you can say uh, that is not related with the same species so that is contest or interference competition if two of the plants or two of the organisms are competing with each other and both are of different species for example the uh, crop and the weed here that you have sown in the agricultural field 